you to be free Why won't you just spread your wings and just fly away Let them keep all the material things But don't let them take your soul Just let them go, girl, so you can be free Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Simone back here with another video and I'm showing you how I got this amazing red color, red orange, whatever color you want to call it in my head. So we're going to get started. I'm starting off with this frontal, which is what the main, you know, reason for this video is. I'm showing you guys how I dye my frontals and this frontal is of course provided by Hardy Hair Company, which is my own personal hairline. I'll include the, um, uh, <laughs> I will include the link in the description box and I'm just starting off by bleaching the knots and just showing you guys how I do that um, I am putting it on the foil so it can process faster so I'm starting with um, the bleach of course and the quick blue and I have the 40 volume developer and I'm just mixing it all up And I'm just taking it, starting off, parting off small sections, and I'm combing it through after I put the bleach and developer mixture on it. So you literally want to just part off small sections and do it that way just so you can make sure all the strands of hair are evenly coated with the mixture. Because you want it to get a nice even tone so it's not too blotchy when you put the color over the bleached hair. Okay, I get it, I get it. You say the future coming quick, I need to be pocket committed. And honestly, if I could really fathom all the traps that have me stuck in the So I am finished now. I am going to give it the last go round and put some foil over it just so it can process faster. I'm putting two pieces, one on one side and one on the other, just so I can make sure I get a nice even color. And I left that on for about I think I think 20 minutes, 20, 30, 25 minutes, and I'm just taking the foil off, and as you can see, it has processed all the way through. Singing, we are the champions while turning food stamps and like drive a dream as being rich as the Hamptons dream lucid. I'm starting with um, these Adore rinses. I will put them in the description box below. I use all four of those. And I'm literally just mixing. Um, I wanted the frontal to be a little bit lighter and more orangey than the bundles. So I um, didn't put as much intense red in the first mixture. Um, for the color that I put on the frontal, I use more intense red when I color um, the wig part of the bundles. So I'm just um, creating my little mixture with the Adore dyes. A majority of the color for this frontal was the French cognac. That's how I got, you know, a little bit um, more orangey tone than the bundles because the bundles are a little bit redder. And I'm just mixing it a little bit because I still wanted the different colors to show through. I didn't want it to be all one color, so I just mixed it, um, you know, a few times, you know, not too much. Okay, now this is the important part, okay? <laughs> So you want to make sure you start off by parting small sliver sections and you want to put the hair dye on the hair that you parted off and then you're going to see how I use the comb. I'm going to comb it through. Comb it through, make sure all the hairs are evenly coated and I'm just going to use the comb and the dye that was left over on the comb to actually get on the roots without getting the hair on the lace. So again, parting off a little section, combing the hair through, and as you, you can see how the, when I comb it through a little bit, you know, of the color transfers on to the hair. So you just wanna keep doing that, keep repeating this process so you can get closer to the root. And that way you'll get the color on the root, but not the lace. You wanna make sure you're very, 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 very careful 
when you do this process just so you don't stain the lace and standing the lace isn't too big of an issue i mean you can always use makeup to cover it up and there are other ways you know to go around that problem but if you just if you're careful and you go slow then the this process you know it'll you know do you well and i know some people use like the you know the got to be glued and the you know the free spray to spray on the lace first um and then color it but i mean i just rather be you know on the safe side just so the hair doesn't rinse out from you know me having to wash it too many times just because all of that you know glue and spray is on it i just rather be careful and go about it like this um so that's how i did this way you just want to you know make sure you're careful and this is when i was halfway done so as you can see the lace is not stained and that's half of the hair and it took me about i think 30 minutes to do each side it took me about an hour to do the funnel and this is just me fast forward and get through to the end so you can see how i did that Now, change, praying that it change, but it's the same old things that you pray for that you don't really need in your life. Just trying to make it right, force and affection lead to depression. Now, you see, he's not the one you want. I want you to be free. Why won't you just spread your wings and just fly away? Uh, when it gets to this part you just want to make sure in the front especially that you have all the hairs coated you don't want any blonde left so i'm just making sure i get everything in between I'm making sure i get all the baby hairs just everything just because i wanted this to be you know every everything coated and colored and nice and easy so you know just go over your work and make sure that everything is coated and for the rest of the wig i literally just dumped everything else in there i didn't pay you know too much attention to um how i mixed it through because i mean the most important part about this wig to me was the frontal to give me that you know more orangey color in the front so on when i dyed the bundles i used like i just poured everything in and it was more red at the end so you just want to mix up everything at the end and just deposit it on the bundles this was actually a wig that i had took apart and i just put the wig on the front well i put the front on the wig um just to make a new one and that's why you see it's connected together so i literally just repeat the same process combing it through um you don't have to be as careful with this because i mean it's no front of it's no lace it's just the bundles so I literally just deposited the color and called it there. And once that's done, you just want to make sure all the color is on there coat it even and this is how the frontal turned out as you can see there is no stains on that lace honey like it's flawless and the um bundles um you can see turned out a nice color as well and i'm just styling it i chose to curl it and i did some pin curls and took them out and this is how it came out i literally i'm so in love with this wig um, i wore this wig out y'all like for real but this is my first time doing a red and I was really so excited because it looked so good. It came out so good and red is like my new color. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, like I said, I really, really love this wig. So if you try this method, let me know how it goes below in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will include the information for the hair purchase in the description box as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.